Good evening, children. Good evening, Deepthi. Good evening, Deepthi. Am I audible? Yeah, so last class we started with uh, ratios and uh, ratio and proportion, and uh, I also posted an assignment. <clears throat> now these are the details regarding the assignment. Okay, so how uh, you know uh, details regarding when I shall be posting the assignment, and uh, uh, as to how you will be uh, getting to see the correct answers. So assignment will be posted before Sunday. I'll try to do it. Uh, you know, like after your class on Friday, so you will be having two classes a week, right? So after the class on Friday, I'll try to uh, post it before Sunday. So that you can, you know, do it on Sunday. Mm, now, the answers to the assignments which I send will also be available in the portal. The answers to the assignment I send will be available in the portal, meaning I'll prepare the answers and I'll uh, upload it in the portal. So you can just sign in, uh, you can just log into the uh, portal using your credentials and see the answers there. So uh, I'll see to that the answers are uh, you know uploaded uh, by Wednesday. So like Wednesday evening when you come uh, home after school, uh, I'll see to that the answers are there you know in the portal so that you can log in. Uh, by then you should have completed the assignment. So what you have to do is by then you should have completed the assignment. So you have to compare your answers with the answers uh, you see in the portal and Mark off the questions where you have a doubt, or maybe you were not able to do something by yourself. But after seeing the answer in the portal, you figure out as to okay, fine, I now understand as to how to proceed with the answer. So it could be uh, either ways. Either you do uh, see it, maybe you tried it, but it was incorrect. But after seeing the correct answer with the steps, you will not see only the correct answer. You will see the steps also. It will be with the steps. So uh, supposing your answer is incorrect okay then you will see the steps there and you will be able to make out yourself because uh, portions sorry assignment is based on whatever has already been taught to you right so it is easy for you to compare your answer compare my answer and uh, you know identify where you have gone wrong that's easy so you can correct it yourself uh, maybe uh, some answers you were not able to answer at all such answers also uh, the answers to such questions also when you see it in the portal you um, and I mean, uh, there are a lot of chances that you will understand from the working there. OK, so you can complete it, so you can complete it. So the leftover ones are those which in spite of seeing the answer in the portal, you don't understand it at all why it happens like that. Such answers, such questions mark it in your notebook and get them clarified on Friday. So Friday's yeah. classes, this will be this is uh, this will be the routine like. OK, so I'll be sharing the assignment before Sunday. So you mostly on uh, you know by Sunday morning so that you can uh, complete the assignment on Sunday. And uh, Monday, Tuesday, uh, sorry, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the answers will be available. So in case you don't complete on Sunday also, you have still time Monday, Tuesday, you can finish it and Wednesday you can check the answers and mark like the ones which you don't understand at all. Just circle them and have it to be uh, discussed in the class on Friday. So Friday's class will be so I'll ask Tanya if she has any doubts. I'll uh, you know like uh, help her with that. Otherwise, no. And you also say no. Uh, it's all clear. Like I saw the answers and I understood. That's it. Correct. So I think that way we can save time and you know proceed with the portions ahead. Uh, otherwise, we will be spending time working the assignment assignment at home and then uh, discussing the answers again takes an equal amount of time, right? So we have lots to study. So I think we should go ahead with newer portions than you know, spending a lot of time with the ones you've already worked and again discussion and all that. So I think this will be more effective. So the uh, holiday assignment which I had uh, shared, no, those six pages plus the assignment which I shared during the weekend, everything will be in the portal before Wednesday. Today is Monday, right? So before before Wednesday, uh, it will be in the portal. So you have to check. Check the answers. See, I'm not saying don't ask doubts. But the thing is, since I, the assignments are prepared, keeping in mind what I have completed in the class. 
you can have a few doubts, but not most of it can be a doubt because you understand why, right? Because we have seen those situations in the class. So when you do, before you do the assignment, what is very important is you need to go through your classwork notebook. Now let me just finish. Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah, good evening, good evening. Good evening, ma'am. So uh, I, I was telling you that, uh, what was I telling you? Ma'am, that the answers will be shared in the portal by Wednesday. Correct, yeah, okay. So. Yes, so for a Sunday morning, by Sunday morning, your assignment will be ready. Be assign yeah, yeah, I was trying to tell you that uh, I was trying to say that uh, you need to go through uh, whatever is in the classwork notebook. Whatever has been taught to you during that week, you, you need to first revise that and then try the assignment. You cannot straight away sit up with the assignment. You need to revise the you know questions and answers from the tuition classwork notebook. Recall whatever you have understood during the week and then do the assignment. Without practicing straight away doing the assignment, you might have doubts. So you need to first sit with your tuition classwork notebook, revise, you know, whatever has been taught on Monday and Friday, and then uh, try the assignment. All right. So after that, Wednesday when it's available in the portal, check your answers. So you will, uh, so you will mark off the ones which you don't understand at all, which are completely new and which you need an explanation. That will be discussed in the class on Friday. So that will be individually. So your doubt, your doubt, Deepthi's doubt, uh, Siddharth's doubt, like that. And then we'll move on. All right. Yes, Deepthi. Yes, Deepthi. Ma'am, yes, Deep Ma uh, the um, the questions that you uh, shared on Friday for as, as homework. Yeah. I wasn't actually able to complete it. No problem. You have time. I to still have uh, three to four questions left. Yeah. Yeah. You can finish it by Wednesday. Yes, ma'am. That's OK. <laughs> yeah, you can complete it on or before the due date. On or before the due date. OK, let's continue now. I don't know. Yes, Deepthi, open your notebook and start writing. So we know that uh, ratio is all about comparing two quantities of the same unit of the same unit. But you see here that these two numbers or, or these two quantities have different units, minutes and hours. So you need to bring them to the same unit before you compare them. You need to bring them to the same unit and the same unit uh, is preferably the smaller of the two units. So between minutes and hours, which is a smaller of the two units, minutes, hours, minutes. 30 minutes, 30 hours, which is bigger? 30 minutes, 30 hours, which is bigger? 30 hours, right? 30 minutes. So you know minutes 
uh, is a smaller unit when compared to hours. Minutes is a smaller unit when compared to hours. So here in the question, we have 45 minutes to 1.5 hours. So don't see the number 45 and 1.5. When you compare the numbers 45 and 1.5, of course, 45 is greater. Uh, we are not comparing the uh, numbers. We are comparing the units. Minute hours. Just the unit. Don't see the number associated with the unit. Minutes hours. So minutes smaller than this unit is smaller than hours. So we prefer to convert hours to minutes, meaning convert the greater, the larger unit to the smaller unit. Convert the larger unit to the smaller unit. But we'll do it both the ways. I'll also tell you how it will work when you convert minutes to hours. So what is preferred? Converting the larger unit to the smaller unit is preferred. So here the larger unit is hours. So we prefer to convert hours to minutes. All right. OK. Here yeah, I don't. Simplify. Which tables are you going to use? Five. OK, so five. How many times 45? Nine. Sir. And then five, how many times 90? Divide, divide. 90 and 5. 5 ones are 5. 4 is a remainder. 0 comes down. 5, 8 is a 40. Yeah. 18 times. Then again, 9 ones are 9, 2 is a. Correct? Is it correct? So 1 by 2 or 1 is to 2. Deepthi, any questions? Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. All right, good. Done writing, children? All right. Completed, Deepthi? Yes, ma'am. Okay.
So which one will you convert? Rupees to paise or paise to rupees? No, rupees to paise because uh, paise rupees, rupees is a larger, greater unit, right? Rupees is a greater unit. So we convert the greater unit to the smaller unit. So we'll convert rupees to paise. So one rupee, rupee one is equal to 100 paise. 14 rupees is equal to 14 into 100 paise. Simplify and tell me the ratio in the simplest form. Simplify. Yeah, correct. Seven. Okay. So seven, seven fours are twenty eight. Then seven twos are fourteen zero zero. Correct. Correct. Two tables. Okay, you will take a little. You need to do it in many stages to get the answer. So because uh, seven, because twenty-eight and fourteen both are divisible by seven, you can straight away take seven. I'll show you. So seven fours are and seven two hundred times. Now four ones are four ones are four fives are twenty. So fifty. Four fives are twenty, and then one zero fifty. So. It's 1 by 50 or the required ratio is 1 is to 50. Required ratio is equal to 1 is to 50. OK, now let's do it your way. So you said 28 by 1400. So 2, 2 14 times, correct? And 2 700 times, correct? OK, then after that again you did 2. Again 2, no? Oh, you stopped there, is it? No, no, no. You should again continue. 2, 7 by 14. Then 2, 350 times. 700, no, when you divide by 2, 350. Again, 7, 1's are 7, 5's are 35, add a 0. No, I'll do it again if you don't understand. If I'm not clear, I can do it again. So it is not that you should cancel only once or twice. You can keep doing it till you get the simplest form. Till you get the simplest form. Till the numbers are no longer divisible by the same tables. Till the two numbers in the numerator and denominator are no longer divisible by the same table, you should keep simplifying. You can use any tables which is common to both the numbers, numerator and denominator. Now she took seven. So not that you should also take seven, you took two. But whatever it is, you'll, so she maybe one will get the answer in two steps. The other might take some four, five steps, but you will get the same answer. Finish writing this, date three. Uh, since I'm not getting a prompt response from Deepthi, I assume that you have some mic issues and I'm proceeding now.
Decameter is DAM. Decimeter, DAM. So, which is the smaller of the two units? Decimeter, decimeter. Kilometer is larger. So, we'll convert the larger unit to the smaller unit always. We'll always convert the larger unit to the smaller unit. You should not see the number associated with it. Don't see the number. See only the unit. Decimeter, kilometer. Decimeter is small. De uh, sorry, decimeter is small. Kilometer is I don't know what I said earlier. I'm sorry. So I said don't compare the numbers. See the units kilometer and decimeter. Kilometer is a larger unit. So we need to convert that to the smaller unit. Okay. One kilometer is how many decimeter? Thousand. No? Okay. Let's see that. Now you need to add zeros, right? So from decimeter, listen to this over here. So from decimeter to kilometer. You're converting what kilometer to decimeter, right? Okay, so maybe you can start from here. See, like you have this children decimeter, meter, decameter, hectometer, kilometer. Correct? Correct. So, what's the number from dec decimeter, kilometer? They are the ends, right? So, one, okay, see if you're getting confused. One minute. Let me write you're converting what kilometer to you're converting kilometer to decimeter. So, let's write all the units from kilometer to decimeter. Kilometer, hectometer, decameter, meter, decimeter, correct? One, zero, 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 zero. So it is 10,000. It's 10,000. And you're converting a larger unit to a smaller unit. So you should multiply or divide? Multiply. When you convert a larger unit to a smaller unit, you multiply. Okay. Thirty three thousand three lakh thirty thousand decimeter. So how do we simplify this? And we can zeros. OK, you simplify and tell me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so first we need to cancel the zeros. Zero and zero gets cancelled then. Yeah, so 11 ones are and then 11. 11 three times 33, one, two, three zeros as it is we are. 
so what is it? Three thousand by one. So the required ratio is three thousand is to one. Any issues with simplifying, Tanya? Should I help you? Sorry. Deepthi, finished? One minute, one am almost done. Yeah. Done, yeah. Do you understand the conversion? Any questions, Deepthi? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, Deepthi, now tell me how will you convert um, 55 decameter to decimeter? Um, you can do it behind. Last page. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah, keep your answer, but don't tell me I'm asking you. 55 decameter is equal to how many dec decimeter? Yeah. Okay, so what is the number you multiplied by what? By 100. Okay. Mom, I got the answer. Yeah, what's the answer? Mom, it's uh, 5,500. Okay, now tell me the uh, chart. Uh, complete the chart, uh, Deepthi. Millimeter, centimeter. Tell me then next. Decimeter, meter, yeah. decameter, okay. hectometer, kilometer. Correct. Now we are converting what? Decameter to decimeter. So decameter, Deci meter, decimeter. Yeah. So what is the number? One, zero, zero. Hundred, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. And we are converting a larger unit to a smaller unit. Larger unit to a smaller unit. So you have to multiply. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so yeah, so 55 into 100. So 50, uh, 5500 or 5500. Correct. 5500. Got it? All of you? Yes, ma'am.
Ma'am, we have to convert a uh, milliliter to liter. Sorry. Ah, correct. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah, the heading is ratio, darling. See, this is the heading. The heading is find the ratio of the following A, B, C, D. The heading is to find the ratio. And why are we converting? Because ratio is comparing two quantities with the same unit, but they have different units. So we are getting them to the same unit and then we are uh, finding the ratio. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I'm not working this. You complete and tell me, children. Now I have to complete this by ourselves, right? Sorry, sorry, Deepthi. Now we have to complete the D1 by ourselves. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. When did your school reopen, Deepthi? Mom, it already reopened. Yeah, that's what. When did your school reopen? On June 1st. June 1st. Okay. And uh, what is the uh, ongoing chapter in maths at school? I'm knowing number, knowing our numbers. Knowing our numbers. Okay. We just, ma'am just gave us homework about uh, rounding off. Okay. Today was your first year at school, no? Both of you? Today was the first. Oh, April that finished. Okay, April that finished. Whole numbers. Whole numbers. So. April Ah, uh, bar graphs. Ah, ah. So two chapters are completed in school. The graphs and knowing. Uh, Yeah, Deepthi, you wrote your steps. Ma'am, one minute, we're not done yet. Just a minute. Oh.
empty? Yes. Yeah, one. I'll just check with Deepthi. Can Deepthi? Yes, ma'am. Ma uh, one liter equals to one thousand milliliters. Yeah. Then sixty-five liters equals to uh, sixty-five into one thousand milliliters. So sixty-five followed by three zeros. Okay. Next. Yes, ma'am. Then I wrote now. Um, uh, sixty-five thousand milliliters to twenty uh two thousand six hundred milliliters is equal to sixty-five thousand by two uh, twenty-six thousand, and then I cancelled milliliters and the zeros. Yeah. Mom, tables. Mom, mom, two tables. Yeah. Two tables. Okay, two thirteen times. Then two how many times? Mm. One minute, mom. I wrote the okay, answer like that. I put my rough work in the back. So one minute. Okay, simplify. Simplify. Yeah, what's answer you want after simplifying? Yeah. 25 is to 1. Okay. Okay, so two thirteen times and two three seventy five times. Sorry, three twenty five times. Then thirteen ones are thirteen. Thirteen. That's twenty five by one. Yeah. So the required ratio is equal to twenty five is. I'll help you, Tanya. Tell me you're stuck with. 6,565,000 6, divided by 2,600. You tell me how you want to do this. Shall we cancel the zeros first? Yeah, after that. Yeah, two, you got 13 times here. Okay, so here this is 325 times. You got that? Okay, I'll tell you. See here, 650, see here, 650 and two. Two threes are six, zero. Five comes down. Two. Uh, twos are four, correct? Two twos are four. Uh, one is a remainder. Zero comes down. Two fives are ten. Three twenty-five times. Okay, so then after that, after that, since fifteen is a prime number, we'll try to divide three twenty-five by thirty. Sorry, since thirteen is a prime number, we'll try to divide three twenty-five by thirteen itself. So thirteen, three twenty-five. 13 twos are 26. Okay. Six is the remainder. Five comes down. 13 fives are 65. Zero. Right? Yeah, good. 25 is to 1 is the required ratio.
done. No, I can help you. No, no. It's okay if you don't get it. It's fine. You, you don't have to always get the correct answer. You should go wrong because we are here to learn. No, if you know everything, then tell me, how can I help you? We'll come from the beginning. We'll start like this. We'll start like this. Uh, 6,000, 65,000 divided by 260. You tell me as you say, I'll do it. Yes. Now tell me, we'll cancel the zeros. Okay, then after that. By two. Okay, so you'll get 13, correct? Okay, then 650 by two. 325, I showed you the division, 325. Uh, after this, yeah, after this, the thing is, you know, because 13 is a prime number, see, it's not divisible by two, it's not divisible by three, it's not divisible by five. So 13 is not divisible by any of these numbers, right? So what you do, because, but you can't say that it's in the simplest form. So what you do know, the last, uh, the last chance, what you want to do is, let me see if 325 is divisible by 13 itself. Because 13, see, if it was 12, you will simplify by 2. If the number, if it was not 13, but 12, you will simplify by 2. Since it's 13, and you cannot simplify using the two tables, three tables, five tables, seven tables, so you don't know what to do. So you are taking the last chance. Okay, let me divide 325 by 13. If it is possible, fine. If it is not possible, this only is the simplest form. Supposing you divide 325, supposing you divide 325 by 13. Okay, now what is the division? Just to find how many times, why did we divide? 325, 325, this one. Why did we divide 325 by 13? So 13, 25 times is 325. That's why the remainder is zero. 13, 25 times is 325. Supposing you didn't get remainder zero, that means it's not divisible. Because we're getting uh, remainder zero, it is divisible. So what we do? 13, ones are 13, correct? 13, how many times? 325, 25 times. So 13, 25 times. So the required ratio is 2 is 2, 25 is 2, 1. All right? Two, two. You got that? You got this? Yeah, very good. Um, is this start of the new question or is it E? No, no, it's it's not E. It's the next question. Since I didn't know the number, I just uh, didn't write it. Uh, yes. Under this heading, under this heading, find the ratio of the following A, B, C, D. Now this is over. This is the next question. Okay. So you can see your notebook and give the number. Whatever number. Or better, you know, you you start with a new number. Today, this was the first question, right? You call this one. Yes, I put it as one, so this will be two. Yeah, call this two, that's all. Yeah, so this is two then. Yeah. Raghavi earns. <laughs> Sorry. Raghavi earns a rupees four lakhs a month and spends rupees fifty thousand on household expenses.
Ma'am, yeah. for the B question, Raka is salary to her income. So, uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Raka, no, 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 Thank you. Yes. The money you spend on certain things. Ma'am, the A and C are like the same, but like it's opposite, right? Oh, I've been uh, messing the words. I'm not using one minute. Let me change it. Because Raghavi's income to Raghavi's yeah, expenditure. Raghavi's income to Raghavi's expenditure, fine. Raghavi's salary to her savings. Raghavi's expenditure to her savings. Thank you. Yes, because it is the same answer. Yeah, just it's the same, yeah. just a reverse. Yeah, yeah. Raghavi, sir, expenditure to her salary or to her income. Oh, no, sorry. Savings. See, again, I'm her savings. Yes. So now you can go and complete it. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. You tried with uh, with whatever knowledge you had till yesterday. Correct. Okay. You can even correct your answer now. Now, if you feel uh, after this class, if you feel you can do the homework better, you can correct some answers. You don't have to score out what you did. Just do it again because that also will be correct. But now maybe you, you can write it more clearly with the steps, right? Yeah. So you can try it again. Mom, we have to add the household expenses and the entertainment and traveling. Yeah. Would be uh, that be the total expense? Thirty thousand. Yeah. Thirty thousand. 
75 no one and i'll do it again income is the same as salary all right girls income salary both are the same my income my salary both are the same that is the money which you get from your you know employer every month so you are working for a company the employer pays you every month right so you earn by working yeah yes manager yes yeah the person who works is the employee the person who runs the company who has employed you is the employer employees yeah he is the employer he employs many people to run his company his all the people in the company are employees only their uh, designations will be different all are employees one or a few people would have invested in that company right one or a few people a group of people would have invested in starting that company correct and to run the company they uh, engage uh, people meaning they take in people to run the company to do the different tasks they engage people they are employees those people who run the business you know they are employers employ so employer employer can be one or many depending on how many people run that business okay so they are employers if you are working in that company you are an employee correct yeah so we are entitled so employees get a monthly salary right that is the monthly income so we use that money to run our family the household expenditure whatever whatever expenses you have to do you take it from your income right so you get from every month raghavi gets from 4 lakhs raghavi every month she gets from 4 lakhs and how does she use that money she spends 50000 on household expenses so buying provisions you know whatever 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 household expenses she may be paying rent if she is living in a rented house she may be paying rent whatever so Many expenditure come under household expenses, so that is totally fifty thousand. And no, entertainment, yeah, and entertainment and traveling expenses twenty five thousand. So what is the total expenditure? Fifty plus twenty five, seventy five thousand. Correct. That's the total expenditure. That money is going out of out from her purse. How much money she has in her purse now, or how much money does she have in her bank account now? Four lakhs. How much has she spent? How much goes away? Seventy-five thousand. So whatever remains with her is her savings for that month. Is her savings for that month. So her income is four lakhs. Her total expenditure is seventy-five thousand. So she's a very smart girl. She's saving a lot of money every month. Okay. So what is her what is her savings then? So Raghavi's Raghavi's savings. <laughs> Raghavi savings is equal to Raghavi's income minus Raghavi's expenditure. Expenditure. So what is Raghavi's income? Four lakhs. Four lakhs minus what is Raghavi's expenditure? Seventy-five thousand. Correct. So how much she saves? She saves a big money. She saves three lakhs twenty-five thousand every month. Assuming that it's okay. Now let's not talk about every month. This particular month, this is her savings. Correct. This particular month, this is her savings. Now let's answer the question. So before you answer the questions, you need to have these three values. These are the three values. What three values? What is her income? What is her total expenditure? And what what is her savings? These are the three things. Income is the money you get by working for that month. That's your income. Expenses is what you spend for yourself, for your family, and whatever is remaining with you, whatever money is remaining with you, which is which you have not spent, which is still in your bank account or in in your you know handbag. That is your 
savings. So how much does she earn? How much does Raghvi earn? Four lakhs. So how much does she spend? In all, totally, how much does she spend? Seventy-five thousand. So we have to put together fifty thousand and twenty-five thousand. So totally, she spends seventy-five thousand. And then how much? How much does she save? Savings will not be given. You cannot search in the question how much she saved. How much she saved? You cannot search in the question. You have to find her savings. Savings will not be given in the question. You can't find the savings the money in the question. You have to subtract. Four lakhs minus seventy-five thousand is the savings that you have to find. That will not be given in the question. So savings is three lakhs twenty-five thousand. Now let's answer these questions. What the first one? Raghavi's income to Raghavi's expenditure. Okay. So Raghavi's income. I'll just write in short INC. Okay. I'll just write INC to Raghavi's. Expenditure. I'll just write EXP is equal to. Tell me what should I write in the numerator? What is her income? Four lakhs. Expenditure. Yeah. Simplify and tell me. I'll just write everything so you can simplify and uh, let me know the answer. What's the next one? Raghavi's, Ovi and Tanya, deeply listen. Raghavi's salary to her savings. Okay. Raghavi's salary to her savings. Her savings. So what's her salary? Four lakhs. Correct. What's her savings? Three lakh twenty-five thousand. This also you should put it in the simplest form. Then what is C? Raghvi's salary, sorry, expenditure to her savings. Expenditure to her savings. So what will come in the numerator? Expenditure is how much? Seventy-five thousand, and what's the savings? Correct. Simplify all this. Take your time. Do it slowly. Understand and do it. Simplify and tell me the values.
Very good. Yeah. Tell me the first one. Tanya will tell us the second one and Deepthi the third one. Yes, tell me. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. One, two, three zeros. One, two, three zeros. Okay, then. Five. five. Yeah, five, fifteen times. Very good. Five, eighty times. Okay, then. Five threes are five sixteen times. Yeah, sixteen by three or the required ratio is six six or the required ratio is required ratio is six is to sorry, sixteen is to three. Correct. You can just or you can just say it is equal to sixteen is to three. That's all. No problem. Is equal to sixteen is to three. That's okay. Then next one, Tanya. Finish. Okay. Finish it. Finish it. Yeah, let's do. Tell me first. You cancel the zeros. Three zeros in the denominator. And three zeros in the numerator gets cancelled. But then which tables did you use? Five. Five how many times? 325? 66 times. Five, six are 30. Two remains. Five, five is a 25. No. Yeah, even I'm getting 65 times. Okay, then 400, how many times you got? 80 times. That's correct. Yeah, you need to just check this one. OK. Then five will be five 16 times and five 13 times. So the required ratio is 16 by three or 16 is to three. All right. Thirteen, sorry. Thirteen, thirty, sorry, sorry. sorry. Deepthi, last one, simplification. No, I'm just I'm almost done one minute. Okay. Just leave on that table, no? Yeah, just leave on the table. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, yeah, Radhavi's ma expenditure to her savings equals to 7,000, uh, 75,000 uh, by 325,000. Ma'am, it'll be, um, ma'am, cancel the zeros. And then, and then uh, 325 becomes 65, 75, 75 becomes 15 by five table. Then 15 becomes three and 65 becomes 13. And then it is three by 13, which equals to three is to 13. The required Very ratio good. equals to three is to 13. Very good. Very good, Deepthi. Good, all of you. Thanks.
done, all of you? So, so far we were seeing problems based on ratio. Now it's problems based on proportion. Yes, uh, question number? No, that's all. This is one again. Problems based on proportion.
So, ma'am, I uh, after it is it one is written one. as twenty five is to thirty, and then you have again put is two, right? Uh, one second, Aditi. Uh, uh, here in the class, Tanya was asking something. Uh, I'll just finish with that and come back to you. Yes, Tanya. Hmm. Uh, yeah. One ratio. I was about to say when you're comparing a ratio, those two quantities must be in the same unit. Another ratio, those two quantities must be in the same unit. Now, all these four quantities need not be in the same unit because once you find a ratio, the units are gone. No, it becomes five is to six. The other one, when you find the ratio, the units are gone. Five is to six. So. All the four quantities may have the same unit, may not have the same unit. But when you're taking two numbers, those two numbers must be in the same unit. The other two numbers, they can be in the same unit or two different units, but those should be the same. You understand? Nice question, but you can compare. Okay. Yes, Deepthi, I'm sorry. Like before you asked, you know, Tanya was asking me something. That's what I meant. Yes, Deepthi, ask me. Yes, ma'am. Ma I wanted to ask that uh, when you wrote it is written as 25 is to 30 and then you wrote double. It's as to. Yeah. That meaning yes, equal to. That's nothing but equal to. I thought, equal to. I thought I only wrote one time. Yes, ma'am. I like it. Is as to. 25 is to 30 is as to 40 is to 48. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. So oh, I had something in my mind and I forgot the first thing. Yeah. Okay. Now let me ask you a question. Um. So in English also. Right. This these symbols are also used in English. Only for questions like this. Tell me, answer this. Dog is to bitch is as to fox is to. Dog is to bitch. So what do you what do you understand from these two? Dog and bitch. Ma'am, they're male and female. Male and female. Yeah, dog, bitch, male, female. So fox is fox is male. What's the What's the female gender called? Vixen. So it's also used in English. Dog is to bitch meaning, you understand, right? Male, female, male, female. It should be in the same order. Male, female, male, female. When it's dog, the female counterpart is called bitch. Fox, the female counterpart is called Vixen. Okay, let me write one more. <laughs> this is the baby. This is the baby and this is the mother. So baby here again, baby, mother. So the, what's the baby called? Kitten. Correct? Hmm? Okay. Hmm.
this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is state capital. Karnataka, Bengaluru. Nagaland. Mizoram is a state as well. Mizoram is a state, it's not a capital city. As well as a capital. The capital city of Mizoram. Manipur is Impal. Manipur is a state. Nagaland is Kohima. Okay. Now, if I say, um, Okay, maybe next class. Maybe next class. We'll not continue with this. Okay, so like this. Learn all the states and capitals. Next class, you know, Friday. Come prepare with all the how many states in the how many states, how many union territories? How many union territories? Eight. Okay. So maybe if you have time, just come prepare with all the you know uh, states and their capitals and also the union territories and their capitals. So like this. So how do we read this? Uh, calf is to cow. Calf is to is to cow is as to is as to kitten is to cat. This is is to. This is is as to. Just one word in the middle. Is is to is as to. All right. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So in this question, are the ratios are the ratios 25 grams is to 30 grams and 40 kgs is to 48 kgs in proportion? So how do we answer this question? So first find the ratios in the simplest form. Take up the first ratio given. Take up the first ratio given and bring it in its uh, or write it in its simplest form. So you know this five is to six. Then take the next ratio. 40 kgs is to 48 kgs. Simplest form five is to six. If they're simplest forms, if the simplest form of the two ratios is the same, they are in proportion. If the simplest forms of the two ratios are not the same, they are not in proportion. If the simplest form of the two ratios are the same, so here they are the same. Five is to six. Five is to six. They are the same. Then the given numbers are in proportion. If they are not the same, they are not in proportion. So how do you, you know, uh, uh, give the answer? Therefore, the ratio. See, because these are equal. These are equal. Therefore, the ratio, this one and this one, are in proportion. Why they are in proportion? Because this is equal to this. Correct? Understand? Now this one, I just wrote it for your information. This is not a part, sorry. This is not a part of the answer. You No, no, you should write it. But I'm saying like the answer ends here. The answer ends. Because what is the question? Are they, are they in proportion? Yes, they are in proportion, finished. Is it asked? How do you write it? It's not asked. So we have, a, I've just uh, mentioned that it is written as 25 is to 30. That is this one. 25 is to 30 is as to 40 is to 48. It's written like that. All right. The answer ends here. See, because read the question. The question is, are the ratios in proportion? So write their simplified forms. They are equal. Yes, they are in proportion. Finish. The answer ends here. We have answered the question. It is written as, I've just written that for your information. How do you write the numbers in proportion? 25 is to 30, the given ratios, is as to 40 is to 48 without the units. Without the units. This is just for our information. And so children?
Any questions, Deepti? Deepti, offload, I think you have uh, some issues with your mic, no? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Or you choose not to answer my question. No, ma'am, it gets delayed. Did you learn Kannada? How long are you in Bangalore? I've used a tables of 15, 15 threes are 45, 15 fours are 60. We can use it directly like that also. Or we can simplify from like uh, 45 by 60. You know, you can use uh, tables of five first. Five nines are 45, five twelves are 60, five twelves are 60. Then again, three threes are nine, three fours are 12. That's also fine. I've used the tables of 15 straight away. 15 threes are 45, 15 fours are 60. Just for practice. The part of the answer, you can write it. In the exam also, if you write it, nothing wrong about it.
we will not do it here because it's very important for higher classes. I will do everything, whether it is a part of your portions in school, that's very dangerous. I don't know why schools are doing that. I'm not at all for that. We will do all the chapters in the uh, textbook. Now in your in the CBC syllabus, the constructions. Alone, I'll teach you whatever is needed that I will not force you to learn everything. But the other parts, arithmetic, algebra, everything is super important. Nothing can be neglected. If you leave that now, next year, next year, next year, then math will be like a difficult subject for you. It's not the other in history. You can do all the diluting portions you can do in history. It's OK. <laughs> some part of history, some part of civics, that's OK, but not mathematics. Any practical subject, you cannot dilute the portions. Because the syllabus with the next standard is prepared based on the syllabus of the standard. So if something is reduced now, next year you will find it difficult. So in school they'll reduce it next year, also they'll not teach you that. Like that, they'll bring you till 10th standard. And 10th standard, you will have a tough time. Uh, so certain chapters which are like OK to omit that maybe with your permission, I'll leave it if you feel. Otherwise, I will not leave anything. Everything will do end to end in detail. We will do. Because we are not learning for getting good marks in school. We are learning for our good for knowledge. Correct? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, any questions, Deepthi? Can we go to the next one? Yes, ma'am. No yeah. questions. Form, form a proportion, form.
me just confirm that the given ratios do not. Yeah, tell me. Which one? After the question, everything has the answer. 10 seconds to 3 minutes, huh? Yeah, I, I don't have place to, I have to continue below, so I just wrote it on the other side. You keep continuing below. Yeah. Make a guess, make a guess. What do you think this should mean? What is this? What is the meaning of this symbol? Then this will be not equal. To. Hello, mom. Yeah, yeah. Yes, mom. My mic yeah, is just. Yeah, this is equal to. If you cross it, it's not equal to. Not equal to. Equal to, not equal to. So when will be the next class, Deepti? Mom, Wednesday. No. Oh, today, Monday, uh, so, uh, yeah. So we'll be having classes on Monday. Every Monday from 5 to 7.15 and Friday from 5 to 7.15. From Wednesday, we will be having class. No, see, we, we were meeting for four and, uh, four and a half hours, right? 5.30 to 7 on three days, correct? I'm getting to repeat that. No, no, we were meeting for, we were meeting three days for one and a half hours. Yes, ma'am. So that that accounts to four and a half hours, right? Yes, ma'am. We'll do that on two days itself, on Monday and Friday from five to seven fifteen. Five to seven fifteen okay. is two hours fifteen minutes. So Friday again, Monday and Friday two hours fifteen minutes each. So that also comes up to four and a half hours. All right? Yes, ma'am. I thought we were able to do more in this time. Uh, one and a half hours. Uh, I, I feel some of this is more comfortable. We can learn more concepts in one class and it's easy for me to give you homework also. 
Yes, ma'am. Yeah. And also, I think it will be useful for all of you. You can focus on the other subjects also. You have yes, more time to study the other subjects. Yeah. Ma'am, so. Uh, Are you finding it difficult, Aditi, to sit for a long time? Ma'am, because the moment I come from uh, school, it's like probably four. And four to five, I will do by like changing and then eating snacks. So five to seven. Ma'am, today also we had from five to seven only, right? Yeah, seven fifteen. Yes, ma'am. So yes, not even possible. Ma'am, every Mondays and Fridays, right? Correct. Monday and Friday. Yes. Same days. We will not. We are not meeting on Wednesday. That's all. We will not meet on Wednesday. We will meet only on Monday and Friday from five to seven fifty. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. From five to seven fifteen or fifteen. One five. Yes, ma'am. Five to seven fifteen. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, the homework you gave last class, so uh, I'll finish it because I'm not finished. Uh, so, so coming Friday we'll be discussing the answers. I'll no, be. The I don't. Yes, that'll be in the portal. portal. But coming be class will be on Friday. Yeah, correct. Yes, correct. ma'am. Yeah, you're right. Yes, ma'am. And we'll discuss the answers for which you have a doubt. Not that we'll not. Yeah, not every answer. The others you will check it yourself. Uh, where you have a doubt, we'll discuss in the class. Yeah, as is understood, children. Okay, no, I didn't explain this, right? So now the question is do the ratios 15 centimeters to 2 meters and 10 seconds to 3 minutes? Form of proportion. All right. So there is one ratio here 15 centimeters to 2 meters. So let's find that 15 centimeters to 2 meters. Meter is a larger unit. So we convert that to centimeter. 1 meter is 100 centimeters. So 2 meters would be 2 into 100, 200 centimeter. Correct? So then we find the ratio 15 centimeters to instead of 2 meters, we say 200 centimeters. So that is 15 by 200, which reduces to 3 by 40 or 3 is to 40. Then the next one is 10 seconds to 3 minutes. One minute is 60 seconds. So 3 minutes is 3 into 60, 180 seconds, correct? And now the ratio 10 seconds to 3 minutes, but 3 minutes is nothing but 180 seconds. 10 seconds to no OVN. 10 seconds to 3 minutes. 10 seconds to Three minutes is nothing but 180 seconds, correct? So that uh, that simplifies to one by 18 or one is to 18. Now you see that the two ratios are not the same; they're different. So clearly, three is to 40 is not equal to one is to 18. Three is to 40 is not equal to one is to 18. Therefore, the given ratios do not form a proportion. If they were equal, then they form a proportion. Yeah, they found.
First, what should you find? Very good. Ratio of 33 to 44 is equal to what? 33 by 44, which is 11 threes, 11 fours. So 3 by 4 or 3 is to 4. Correct? Then ratio of ratio of 75 to 100, 75 to 100, ratio of 75 to 100, which is 75 by 100. So now you can use the tables of 25, 25, threes are 25, fours are, correct? Three by four, which is threes to four. You can, you can, yes, yes, we'll do it in the tables of five, yes. One second, one second. We'll do it in the tables of five. Look at the board, uh, Tanya. Yeah, so 75 by 100. So in the tables of five, five how many times? Do, 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 do. 15 times, five, 15 times, correct. Then five how many times? 20 times. Five again, how many times? No, five, 15, this is 15. Five threes are 15. Five, how many times? Four, sir. So you'll get the same thing, okay? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. 25 threes are 25 fours are, that's fine. Correct. Okay, so now the ratios are the same. Correct? Clearly, <laughs> that's not clear. <laughs> the word clearly is not clear, is it? Okay. Oh, that's all about my handwriting. One second. Clearly, the numbers 33, 44, 75, and 100 form a proportion.
in the study that had a chance to and had to find it. If I explain this one, right? This is over. Yeah, do this by yourself. At home, just take the question now and finish it at home. If you take down the question, you can complete it later. All right, it's time now. Writing. All right, children. So that's it for today's session. Thank you so much. You may leave the call, Deepti. Thank you, children. Bye.